Bob Ross. Watch. You're a masterpiece. The big thing is Christy Rust. She's cool, she's talented. Um, okay, so what we want to do is forget rules, okay? Forget right, remember joy. And this is a off-white vanilla bag, and it's, I'm sure that's hers. That's her stuff, isn't it? Love the leaves. Okay, and then it has like a rose gold. See that? Zippa. Zippa. <clears throat> and here it is. The Ark for Joy's Sake. It would be neat if her name was Joy. Maybe she can get that changed. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll talk. Okay, so I'm going to take these out of their respective little cases. Little. I love that that was the only plastic I mean pretty much we got plastic over the <clears throat> brushes um, so it's gonna come really nice um, nice and neat so that's a presentation point and they feel really good and they look really good don't they So this says, forget rules, the half inch dagger. And this is her cat's tongue brush. Okay, and then we have happy painting, number two. I know, just by looking at it, right? Remember joy, number one liner. Okay, and then on the back, I'm kind of doing it um, backwards here. She says, I feel honored we're on this journey together. My name is Christy Rice. I'm a 10-time creative empowerment author, and I believe in the power of making hashtag art for joy safe. Whether you're an, ex an experienced painter trying new brushes or a new beginner, I'm here to make sure you understand how pure joy can be found through watercolor. A few minute painting session holds in it the chance to experience true joy. You don't need to paint perfect or pretty all the time. The point is just to paint. Okay, so we are going to start, and I've already started, but we're gonna go through each one of these brushes not like she does because she does it professionally. I am a beginner, but we're gonna use the three quarters wash. It's got this nice oval situation going here. It, each brush has a, a powerful saying or a couple words on it, and they have cute colors too. So this is like a pink. It says unshakable joy, three fourths wash so it's three-quarter wash brush and I've done some of them already it's purple look at that I love this motion of this this right here I mean see seascapes what are you, what are you thinking nice seascapes any type of you know type of house or let's dry it and um, rinse it off. I don't know why I'm making so much noise. Rinse it off and let's get a leaf color. It gets a little bit wet. And um, let's, okay, I drew a leaf so we can go out from it like that, you know, out from the bouquet like she does. And there we've got some explosions. Tell you what, this brush is like almost, you could probably almost do it all if I knew what I was doing. So we've got some 
You can use this to do a water wash, you know, get your, um, your paper nice and soaked. Uh, so yeah, love, loving this brush. I hope you can see that. Okay, so we're going to do same thing, well, kind of, with the half inch dagger and it's yellow and it says forget rules and it's a little bit on damp paper wet on damp and look how ribbony and thin this goes make leaves with these for some reason I am not doing great with the leaf making today show you these brushes as a beginner would learn as a beginner would now a pro would be giving you probably a drawing here so this is the Forget Rules Half Inch Dagger, and she does give you a 50 minute video on using these brushes. So I really liked that. I was a little um, overwhelmed until I watched her videos and got a little bit more um, acclimated to the um, brushes. So this one is a quarter inch dagger. Let's try a blue leaf. See, these would be good to like get in and do some shading maybe. Um, because that is something I really need to learn is how to put shadows in because I have two-dimensional painting. I have no depth. I have no depth. But this is really great because you can make, let's get this, you can make a ribbon like this again, like the half inch with the quarter inch, you still can do that. And leaves you can make in a cinch. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Watch. This right here, if you didn't do it as well because I was on dry, you can kind of twist it up. Kind of twist it and make a different motion, which you can see right here has, well, it did have depth to it. I'm just messing around here, but uh, this is, over here it's a little bit damp. So that is the three quarter, I mean the quarter inch, I'm so sorry, the quarter inch dagger. Let's rinse it, let's dry it, we want it to keep its shape. And let's continue a cat's tongue brush, and it says watercolor curious. And my uh, concern with it is, it appears to be really small. I wonder if she has a larger one. I have ruined a couple brushes and I was also told, and <laughs> I was told after I ruined them, that you do not want to get paint up in this, is it called a ferrule up in this metal part? Because then your uh, brush will split which I've had a couple of them do, and I was heartbroken. <laughs> she did this beautiful, I think it was red or orange, kind of she went around and did a beautiful painting, and I couldn't get it to go that unless I really loaded it up and dragged it. So let's see again while I'm on the camera. This would be my only uh, contention. Let's do a color that we haven't done so we can kind of show up on the thingy here. 
We're going to get another piece of paper here. And then we're going to, um, we are going to test the cat's tongue brush. Let's dry it off a little. As a liner brush. Look at that. <gasps> and you can do all kinds of craggly little veins. Oh. See, that would be a good, uh, you know, like a barren tree. Okay, so I've got a juicy red, crimson actually. Let's go down here. And <clears throat> I don't think it was wet on wet. But she just went around and did this and what she made. <clears throat> was amazing. She just changed the <laughs> hue, is that correct? Or um, the value. Look, look at these words I'm learning. Um, but she yeah, changed the um, color a bit. Ooh, I'm doing it, guys! Yeah, she went around like this, only hers was a lot prettier. And she kept going around and changed the color a little bit. And, oh my gosh, I'm doing it. Oh, oh, how fun. How fun. Yeah. Yeah. I did all that with just one load of a brush. And if I want to, I know she doesn't turn her paper around, but... You have to excuse me because, oh, this is good. Yeah, I was just scared. I was just not putting enough on the brush. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. I am <laughs> shocked and happy. Uh, that I think that's one of the most beautiful things I've ever created in watercolor so far. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. This is crazy. It's like little tiny triangles rounded off, which is perfect for a flower, some type of flower. Oh my gosh, Christy. I feel so empowered. You could also, they could be little hearts too. <gasps> So amped up about this cat's tongue brush. You know, who am I to teach anybody anything? But I make sure, guys, that I do this. And I, I don't want to press it too hard because I've snapped <laughs> a brush before. But I like to get it really dry. Um, at least the barrel really dry. And this really clean of color after I use it. And then I shape it. And that's uh, something that I learned because I've um, damaged brushes. And if you can uh, be spared from damaging brushes, why not? So that's my only and little tidbit. It's a number two round. So it's a small round. And it says, happy painting. She said, just play around with it. And we're going to go to the other side of this textured paper. Ooh. I love it. Let's see. And we can do that. But we want to see how thick we can get it. You know, I'm really scared to do wet on wet. I, I'm coming clean. I'm I'm staying true and telling you the truth. I am scared to do a wet on wet. some blue. 
I'm using it as a like kind of like a pencil now at least that I'm holding it like it's a pencil I'm having fun I'm having fun having fun dry completely okay so we have one left and we're gonna see what she says about it so we're gonna see how thin of a stroke we can make we're on remember joy our number one liner I'm gonna go perpendicular at first Ooh, look how wispy. Awesome. Okay. Now these are all the brushes. And I have tried them all out separately and with you guys. And one thing that I will say is she put a lot of thought into this. And I appreciate that. And um, not only does she give you a 50 minute um, video about how to use these brushes, um, you know, she's on all the time. And um, you can even, you know, join and she'll give you specialized help. So um, it's all out there. But this is um, the last one, the Art for Joy's Sake Brush Collection. The three quarter inch wash brush, which I love. Okay, it's shockingly versatile, creates thin, thick, and curved lines. We know that. Um, the half inch dagger uh, holds a lot of water, covers large areas quickly, and it has a springy feel. The cat's tongue, it's got a stiffer feel, it's great for texture marks. Um, it comes to a perfect, imperfect point. More texture. Yay! The number two round. The, and that is for, uh, it gives a feeling of control. Um, you got the liner. Can look frayed when dry, but creates perfectly thin, graceful lines when wet. Is the quarter inch dagger? Where'd you go? There you are. And the quarter inch dagger is for a smooth feel. You can create gorgeous leaves. Today I'm not doing that. <laughs> and petals with one touch. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to leave you with this. These are good brushes. And you have a creator that is invested in your joy. I'll be doing her exercises and showing you my progress in my um, journal or pages. And you show me yours. I would love to see them, especially if you got these brushes. Have you any, any questions? How did you like the brushes? Um, so let's talk. Let's see. Um, and if you've bought the brushes, uh, go do the exercises. And um, I'm sure there's a Facebook. I'll find out. I'll put it on here. You'll know it. I'll know it. American people will know it. And there you have it. So thank you so much for watching this. And you also have Christy when you buy these brushes. I'm going to loan Christy out to you. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to say that on her behalf. You can have her. Now, I do believe that if you have problems or if you're confused about these brushes, I believe she'll do everything to, you know, to help you along um, to the extent that, you know, she's able. They do. She does have packages that you can buy where you can get traceables and you can get Christy time. So please check into that if, if this is what you like. So thank you very much. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, 
And until next time, this is Lori with Lori Tries Life. Bye-bye.